end of our six week summer survival series. We hope that you book your perfect. We hope every time. Hello! Hello and welcome to week six, the last video in our summer survival series. This week's session we are going to spell out mind fit and living sport with a different exercise for each letter. You ready? Ready. Let's go!
come to the end of our six week summer survival series. We hope that you found the videos fun as well as informative and that you're feeling a little bit more ready to go back into the real world and back to school. See you soon. Bye. Lockdown enforced a slower paced lifestyle for most people, particularly for students. Overnight, school, social groups and even hanging out with friends became forbidden. Although for some people this was a welcome break from the busyness of life, this new lifestyle has brought with it a massive challenge. Coming out of lockdown and going back to school and resuming real life potentially feels hugely overwhelming. If you've spent most of your days over the last few months sleeping in late, watching endless Netflix and playing on your Xbox, it's understandable if you feel demotivated and you are definitely not alone. A great way of getting back in the game is to set some goals. Why is it important to set goals? Well, setting goals helps us focus on what we need and or want to do. Goal setting helps us think about what we want to achieve and helps us map out how to get there. It can get you feeling positive and even excited about the future. So if you're thinking this all sounds good, but you have no idea where to start, don't worry. Here are our tips for setting goals. Make your goals smart. No, not smart as in clever. S-M-A-R-T. This stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant and time bound. Let's go through them together. Specific. Make your goals as specific as possible. Making them big and vague will only make you feel overwhelmed and lost. For example, rather than I want to be better at English, make it smaller. I want to get a better grade in my mock exam in January. This gives you much better focus. Measurable. This means how will you know that you've achieved your goal? If you have a way of measuring your progress, for example, your English grades, you will know that you are on track. Achievable. This means how will the goal be achieved? Here you can list the specific tasks you will need to complete to get to your end goal. You can refer back to our last video on problem solving to remind you on how to do this. Relevant. This means thinking about why this goal is important for you. Does it add to your plans for the future? Is it really what you want or are you doing this for someone else's approval? Trying to people please here will not help you. To be driven to achieve your goals, they have to be your goals. Time bound. This means when do you want to achieve the goal? Set your target date so you can ensure that your plan is set to that time frame. Now that you've set your SMART goals, you need to consider accountability. This is key to achieving your goals. Most of us, when left to our own devices, would let ourselves off the hook and stop ourselves before we get out of our comfort zone. Being accountable to someone or something else is the best way to stay on track and keep going, particularly when the going gets tough. You could make an agreement with your parents, a teacher or a trusted friend that you will report back to them when each stage of your goal has been completed. If you know that you need to do something by a specific time and that someone will be checking that you've done it, you're far more likely to do so. Lastly, if you're not sure what goals you have, or even if you have any, start by working backwards. In other words, think about what you want from life in the long term. What job do you want? What ambitions do you have? And work backwards from there. For example, if once you finish school, your ambition is to travel the world, think about how you're going to get there. Do you need a part-time job to start saving some money? Do you want to learn a particular language? These future plans will inform your goal setting now. We can't believe that we've come to the end of our summer survival series. We've loved sharing our workouts and tips with you, and we hope that they have been useful for you. As you move out of lockdown and back to school, we wish you all the luck in the world and we hope to see you again soon. Remember, you've got this.